Detroit Lions training camp is off and running and Saturday we got a chance to catch up with the Lions coordinators. Now, everything is unique about football this year, but something unique for the Lions is that special teams coordinator Braden Combs and defensive coordinator Corey Unlin haven't even gotten a chance to meet with their entire units yet in person this season. Unlin said he'll have a chance to meet with his entire defense in person for the first time on Sunday, which he is very much looking forward to, but he feels they've made the most of the virtual meetings all off season. To say excited would be an understatement, obviously, but, um... The respect that I have for virtual meeting right now, and I don't care if you're in person or not, but this this classroom or this media situation that we're in right now and doing that all spring, I've got a great feel for all those guys, and I think they all have a great feel for me, uh, whether we were in the meeting room or virtual. Now, offensive coordinator Daryl Bevel is on the opposite end of that spectrum. He's had a year with his offense already, so you would think that would be an advantage heading into this camp. He says that's nice, of course, but he still thinks they have a lot to work on. I think I'd answer it first. I mean, there's a little bit of comfort just with the knowledge um, that maybe that they have. But, you know, I'm, I'm really into um, you know, how we execute it on the field. And so I'm, I'm excited to get to this next level. I think that's really important for us. So, you know, we can't we can't get complacent or rest on our laurels in terms of, yeah, we you know, we've got this down. We know this stuff Um, you know, every year is a new year. We have new players and new spots. We have little wrinkles that we want to make sure that we're adding. So uh, we need to get on the field. We need to start practicing stuff that we've been talking about for quite a while. Let's dive into a few of the players and positions that everybody is talking about heading into this Lions camp. Kenny Galladay led the NFL in touchdown receptions last year, and he should be poised to have a big year again this year. Daryl Bevel says they are working with him specifically on operating like one of the elite receivers in this league. There's specific things that we're talking to him that he can take his game to the next level, but really you want him to, you know, to be thought of in those upper echelon, um, you know, guys with the Hopkins and, you know, Thomas and those, those type of players where um, he really is dictating to the defense, like how they have to cover it. When you're in, when you're in that go-to opportunity and you, that's the guy, it's like everybody knows Kenny Galdi is getting the ball and everybody knows that he's going to still make the play. And that's, that's really where we're trying to get him to, to be that, that dominant level player. Then on defense, I know it's Jeff Okuda you guys want to hear about. It's a crazy year for rookies, and it's especially difficult to learn the cornerback position as a rookie. Onlin says they are doing everything they can to bring him along quickly. I would agree with all that as far as the challenge goes for that position. I don't care if you're a rookie or you're a six-year vet. We have not played, you said it, we have not played a snap yet. We haven't even practiced a snap yet. So. His challenge right now is just being out there on the first day and don't care where we drafted him, where he came from. Um, that position comes with challenges. And uh, well, I think we're all excited, not just for him, but for everybody else that's new, guys that have been here, once we get on the field and then We'll start with the first one and we'll go from there. And finally, on special teams, punter is the big story right now. Jack Fox and Aaron Sipos are the two punters on the roster right now. And special teams coordinator Braden Combs says he is very much looking forward to seeing that competition between those two play out. I'm really excited about both of those guys. Um, you know, we're going to have competition across the board at every position, not just punter. I think they have both have high ceilings. It's just a matter of. Um, you know, going out and doing it. Neither of them have done it in a game. And with no preseason, that's definitely going to be a little different. Um, but we're going to find ways to make it hyper competitive in practice and put them under pressure situations. And, you know, we'll see who rises to the top. But I'm really, really excited for both of those guys. Over the next week, the Lions will gradually ramp things up to return to the on-field portion of training camp that we all cannot wait for. Saturday, August 15th, we will be hosting our Lions training camp preview presented by Rocket Mortgage. So be sure to join us on the Lions social channels for that show. For DetroitLions.com, I'm Tori Petrie.